Hi and welcome again with our third part of ASP.NET Core MVC Entity Framework. This part today, as we said last uh, video, will create our uh, Visual Studio project. After that, we'll install the requirement files. Uh, let's see what is this requ the requirement files. So uh, we finished already our first step. We create our database and we call this approach is database first so we create our database first uh, second things will uh, go to our uh, visual studio we'll create our ASP core MVC project we'll install this requirement files from nugget uh, package uh, after that we'll try to let's say uh, we'll add our uh, modules modules and we'll add our if we have any uh, controllers and we'll, we'll see that step by step how will be that so let's go to our uh, visual studio create a new project uh, I can choose C sharp web will be uh, ASP core application let's call it uh, ASP underscore core underscore EF entity framework yeah that's it okay so second uh, step will ask us which one we need to use so empty one will be empty nothing inside that and we don't need to use web api and this web application uh, it will be web application but without asp mvc uh, without mvc pattern so i need to use uh, mvc so if i choose this one uh, this one no this second one it's better for me because we'll put for me all the requirement folders I don't need to create all of views I don't know what so it's better for me to use this one and if you use this one maybe you'll have mistake or have something but no you have this one it's already it will be better this will give you all the folders for ASP uh, MVC and will be important and everything will be ready for you so uh, change authentication uh, change it to no authentication we don't need to now I'm great any authentications Maybe in future we'll use uh, ASP identity, identity. So after that we'll check OK. OK. Let's close this one. Wait just to restore all the libraries. I will show you how to uh import any library from nugget there is many ways but uh, i think there is much difference between the core uh, one and core two and as you see even here there's some uh, some files is missed now here they they took the many files from this version and they add the uh, pro, uh, programs here and they change they change the art, uh, layout of this uh, of a uh, core two so don't panic it's easy uh, so let's go to add our uh, to our uh, nugget manager so as we said we need first things to add it is uh, it's back to our powerpoint we need to uh, let's start from this one microsoft core Uh, Microsoft Entity Framework Core. This one's important. We'll see in, uh, in our uh, next videos why this is important for us. Okay, finish it. Uh, after that, we'll uninstall SQL. Okay, this one. Fantastic. After that, to design from here, choose it. Oops. Okay, that's great. And last one, a tool. I don't need to start pre with it. Just this one. Mm. That's it. So close this one now I don't need anything here 
so as, we, as I said when if you choose this uh, empty will be nothing here but if you choose with the uh, web application MVC will get for you this folder and will prepare for you in the startup will add this service that add MVC that's the different but better to choose this one for you okay let's close uh, so our plan will be to add our modules uh, after that we'll add our interfaces after that we'll add our repositories okay uh, our modules will start with first module add class okay well, first one will be uh, student should be same field name nothing different the first one prop prop int okay this one will be key key import system automation second will be first name will be string second first name uh, after that prop will be string will be last name as you see I, I I'm copying from SQL as I know myself I will make a mistake when I'm writing something so I, oh here this one see this mistake should be uh, that at a time okay and here we need to add one more things uh, I don't need this long uh, format uh, day year uh, and month and time I don't know no just I need data time dot or data time let's say like this data time dot I need just it and it just day month year no more I don't need time with it uh gender id this is important to be exactly same be into get sorry set after that we have a registration same okay uh, the date yeah here uh, okay this one here same as, as this one here nothing different same will be I need just oops okay uh, status uh, let me teach you something new I uh, will add here uh, public you know uh, let's call it uh, status okay inside this one as we said will be uh, the student status if it is postgraduate or undergraduate or I don't know what I found something there let me add for you here Oops. this number zero and this one this three and one zero one two three this one okay that's it we got the button down public uh, status could be free uh, null mm, could be and status get set that's it easy and simple Save it. Uh, second one, we need to add. Uh, let's add gender. Easy one. Gender. It's gender, huh? not genders. Be careful. Okay. Uh, first one, public. Okay. Uh, gender ID. Oh, sorry. There is int before int get set 
public will be string sorry uh what this gender id gender name for gender name is get set okay nothing more than that that's great let's add our course save this one close it must need to open all of them class First point, prop. I think second one it's string. What was it? Course name. Okay. Prop. I think string two. Oh no, string or uh, what we put here in the. Oh sorry. No. I'll click on this one. Yeah, string. So what's it? Grid it. Oh, that's it. Close this one. Copy it with key. This one will be here. Sorry. Key. Close. I will get a thing in uh, course. It's okay. Student, okay. This one here, gender. Key. Come on. Close. Yes. Last one. Will be enrollment. Enrollment. ID to public int student ID get set after course oh, direct public int uh, some public uh, the time will be Start get set in public the time okay get set now I think we finish all our classes let me check time oh so let's make a new video